So thinking back over teachers that may have had some influence over me, I think it's really hard to determine which one had the most influence. I think it would be fair for me to think about the community that I was raised in as a whole in terms of how I was mostly influenced. Um, there's several people in my community that I could look back on who certainly played a critical role, pivotal role, and, and my views on life and, and what I thought I wanted to be or what I thought I should be. So I, I think about growing up in New Haven, um, Connecticut, um, at a time where poverty was at an at a all-time high on a national level as long as death rates. And, and it was just really tough trying to survive that, that system, or what they call the ghetto, I should say. So there were folks around me, like uh, Sabrina Johnson. She was definitely an influence. I had a professor um, as I went to college at, in the community college, Professor Hope. Um, and I think the biggest influence for me was, was my father. Um, I watched him work literally two full-time jobs and a part-time job. He really got to spend time with me, but when he did, he made that those moments memorable for me. Um, and, and I just looked at his leadership and his guidance and what he tried to do for my family, or what he did for my family, I should say. As a, as a man who only had a second grade education, he was able to um, provide a household, you know, keep a roof over our head, clothes on our back to the best of his ability. Always didn't have the best um, most times we didn't have the best and oftentimes it was hand-me-downs. But with that being said, um, although he wasn't there physically all the time, he was there in his spirit. Um, so I look at him as, as my biggest influence. And, and one of the things that I learned from my father, um, as well as Sabrina and Mr. Hope, was to be given caring and try to be nurturing and give back the best that I can to my community. Um, when I think about the community and how important it is, I think it becomes everyone's job or task um, to have that raise a village mentality. I mean, that's the mentality that I try to carry myself. I may not always hit the mark, um, but for the most part, that's what I try to do. And I think um, if we as individuals um, invest more in our community and each other, I think there certainly will have better outcomes as a whole. Um, so, um, you know, so I think about as the, the initial question, I think we're all teachers um, and I think Anyone who's played a pivotal role in your, your life should be credit, uh, credited for that. And um, I don't think um, it's always fair to, to just isolate one person because there's those ancillary people on the outside who's, who could have touched your life for a day or two, who could ultimately impact what you become later on in life. 